Welcome back. You're there. This is the last video in this tutorial for working with basic bottom-up assemblies within Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to introduce you to two more new concepts. The first will be to create a plane that we call mid-plane. This plane will divide the model in half and make it easier for the repetition that we'll also create using symmetry. We'll also talk briefly about symmetric components and how they work. Let's see how it all works. All right, for this last step, I'm going to show you how to repeat components within the assembly environment. So we have all these spring clips on top, and it's symmetric all the way down to the bottom. Now, there's danger with mirroring parts. However, Top Solid is pretty smart. In fact, it empowers you to tell us, or more importantly, tell the software, if the part is symmetric and by what plane, planes, or axes. Let's have, a, let's have a quick look at what I'm talking about. For example, if I go to my large spring clip and open it up, let's have a look. This part is symmetric totally. If I mirror this thing about that face, it's the same. Heck, even if I mirrored it about a face this way, it would also be the same, or a plane, I should say. So what I've done is I've gone ahead in the samples provided to you, and I have made Top Solid aware that these parts are symmetric or can be symmetric and that's by describing a plane symmetry. Now once I've described the plane symmetry the software includes this information in the entities tree so if you ever open a model and you're in the entities and you see symmetric here you can look and basically what this is telling us is that this is symmetric about a plane and if you're curious about where right click on it and edit it and you can zoom out and see. You can see I made the plane right in the middle of it the symmetry plane. Perfect. Now, by doing this and why this is important, when we mirror these components in here, Top Solid knows that it's okay to mirror about a plane parallel with the plane described in the part. And if this happens, it's okay to allow the symmetric repetition to happen. Otherwise, if we mirror about a different plane or axis or something, the software will assume it's a non-symmetric part and it will automatically derive a mirrored version. And this is kind of cool too. This is how this part here was made. This is the top elbow. I left it called mirrored for a purpose because when I designed it, I derived it with a mirroring function just to win time. Okay, let's get the work done now that we need to do. In order to mirror this down to here, we need a plane. So let's go to tools and let's just go to mid plane. Now, when I go to mid plane, I can select this face here and this face here and the software will auto calculate for me a plane right through the middle of that. And what's nice about that is if we lengthen any of these components here, that midplane will update. Next, also on the Tools tab, I'm going to go to Repetition. Now in Repetition, I'm going to start by selecting the components that I want to repeat. Kind of makes sense. So we'll grab all those spring clips, right? Now I'm going to come down to here to my pattern, choose Symmetrical Pattern. I want a simple plane. I'm going to select the plane we just created. I'm going to validate. I'll validate once more and we're done. Everything was super, super simple because of taking the time to configure things the correct way.